hi everyone welcome back in today's video i will talk about concept of schema and its uses in snowflake a schema is a counterpart of a database and together these two define a namespace in snowflake there can be multiple schemas in a database but one schema belongs to a single database schemas help us in grouping tables and views together that are logically related we will see how a schema is created created and its use apart from user created schemas we will learn about schemas that are automatically available with a database including the information schema provided by snowflake let us start with the creation of a user defined schema in a user defined database followed by listing of schemas for that let's first create a database in which we will test the schema creation you should see a message stating that the database testing schema creation is successfully created let us check whether the newly created database already has a schema in it you should see two rows in the result set which are basically the two schemas that are automatically available with every new database information schema and the public schema now let us create a new schema the syntax for creating a standard schema without any additional settings is quite simple so it would be create schema followed by the schema name the command should successfully execute with the following message schema successfully created let us verify that the schema has been created successfully and also look at the default values that were set automatically for its various attributes so let us uh, run a command show schemas the query should return one row displaying information such as schema name the uh, database name the owner of the schema comment and data retention time in days this is how we create a schema in snowflake now let us create another schema for which we will set the time travel duration to be 0 days and also set the type of schema to be transient it is common to use these settings on a data for which snowflake data production features are not required such as temporary data the schema creation should succeed with the following message let us view what the schema settings are by running the show schemas command the output of show schemas is here it has the created on the name of the schema uh, the database name owner comment followed by the options the options is set as transient because we created the schema to be transient and the data retention time is zero days as we you see that we have set the data retention time in days to be zero so this indicates that there is no time travel storage for the schema and also the options column is transient as we have said which essentially means that there will be no fail safe storage for the schema let us see how this is going to work so the standard create schema command uses the defaults set at the database level if we have not changed any of the configuration the schema will have the fail safe enabled by default also the time travel is enabled for the schema automatically and is set to be one day by default both these features have cost associated with them and in certain cases you can choose to turn off these features for schemas that will store temporary tables such as tables used for etl processing a schema can be created as a transient schema which means that there is no fail safe storage 
similarly such schemas can also be said to have time travel to be zero to reduce the cost further by default the time travel for transient schemas is one day although we have set the schema to have no time travel and no fail safe we can still set indiv individual tables within a schema to be protected by fail safe and time travel setting these options at the schema level sets the defaults for all the tables created inside that schema it is important to note that creating a new schema sets the current schema of the session to the newly created schema schema the implication of this behavior is that any subsequent ddl commands such as create table would create table under that new schema this is like issuing use schema command to change the current schema every database in snowflake will always have a public schema that is automatically created upon database creation additionally under every database you will also find an additional schema called the information schema the information schema implements the sql 92 standard information schema and adds additional information specific to snowflake the purpose of the information schema is to act as a data dictionary containing metadata that you can query to find information such as all, ta all the tables in the system, all columns along with their data types and more. It is possible to add many additional schemas under a given database, which can help you organize your tables in a meaningful structure. A good example of using databases and schemas to organize your data and your environment would be the approach of setting up production, testing and development databases using the concept of schemas and databases. This approach is especially required if your organization has a single Snowflake account that is being used for dev testing and production purposes at the same time. This approach is shown in this particular diagram. In this approach, a database is created for each environment. As you can see that dev that dev test and prod are the databases in this picture and within each database we have the public and information schema which are already provided by snowflake itself and along with along with a public and information schema i have created raw and access layer raw may be the schema that contains the data in the raw format or the source data and the access layer schema will contain the data that can be accessed by any downstream systems so this is my assumption of raw and access layer this layer can change depends depending on the requirement the purpose of this approach is to segregate various environments but keep the structures identical enough to facilitate the dev testing and productionization of the data as you can see under these three databases dev test and prod the uh, schemas are identical uh, uh, apart from a public and information schema you can see raw and access layer are common among all the three environments it will help us in testing on productionization of the data